everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean... It's dangerous to go alone. I found this in the trunk of Midge's car. It's dangerous to go alone. I found this in the trunk of Midge's car. It's very nice of Kevin to wait back there while I clear the path to Canada. Okay, so Canada is probably this way. We should have taken the hidden ice cave route instead. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. Oh no, the fabled Canadian spider boost. where all the sewage is in this sewer. Canada.
everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. For a sewer system, this is pretty clean. Oh no, the fabled Canadian spider moose. Ooh, more ammo. This place is dangerous. We should have taken the hidden ice cave route instead. Huh, I wonder where all the sewage is in the sewer. Canada. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. For a sewer system, this is pretty clean. Oh no, the fabled Canadian spider moose. I know Canada's around here somewhere. It's so big you can see it from space. Everyone knows you only get to... It's dangerous to... It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Canadian spider moose. I know Canada's around here somewhere. It's so big you can see it from space. the sewage is in the sewer.
Straight ahead. It's dangerous to go alone. Canada, where the air is crisp and... Uh, hey, I thought Canada was cold. It is, so long as it isn't the first Thursday in September, we're in the middle of their summer. What luck! Now, to find someone to put you back together, my faceless friend. There's gotta be someone in that town down there. Let's go, Pylon! There you are. Right on time. Yeah. What do you want? We've been watching you. So? And how do you think you have done in your mission? They're not making a good game. It's what you wanted, right? Happy? Is the game better than it was yesterday? It doesn't matter if it's better, it's still not good. Our intelligence suggests it is trending the wrong direction. Is that your handiwork? I've barely gotten used to working there. That didn't answer the question, Miss Potter. Do you know why the director chose you? Yeah, because you could blackmail me. You have a particular set of skills. We expect you to use those skills. But who are you all anyway? We're just humble civil servants doing our duty, Miss Potter. And so are you. Now, please do as we ask. And I promise you this will come to an end. Hello, how may I help you? Whoa, I think their receptionist is a robot. Ooh, how futuristic. Excuse me, is this where I could see a technical doctor? Please take a number. Hey, look at that, a robot that does something. We should get one of those. Thanks. Oh man, that's a terrible number. Oh, this could take a while. Feel great. Nothing like a dip in the old regeneration pool. I'm glad our restorative bath has restored your vitality. Yeah, between that and the healing ray, I feel more animated than I've felt in years. Cool, healing rays? Oh, I did a healing ray. See you next time I catastrophically injure myself, robot. We eagerly await your further injury. Me too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go run a marathon now. Bye. <sighs> Don't worry, I've got a plan. We've just got to find someone in that crowd with a low number. Okay, the plan is, go around and talk to everyone about what number they have. We've got to find the lowest number. Great, I can do that. Now calling number seven. Ooh, the future's all chromatic abaratati. Whoa, are you a robot? Half robot. I didn't know you could be half robot. You can be anything, kid. Oh man, if this person has a low number, they definitely need it more than me. <sighs> Looks like you and me both have the rigging issues today. Huh, guess this one has a terrible number. Number 34. Not too bad. Hey, stop picking up my number. Oh, even their trays of bottled water are futuristic. This person has the number 239. That's right. Ooh, a regeneration pool. Oh, it's only a demo. Ah, 
I don't think I should go near this person. I might get hurt. I read about these floating plants. The FDA says they cause warts, but I think that's a conspiracy put out by the big mulch industry. Ah, oh, number 14. How long have you been waiting? Oh, since the 90s. Uh, cool. Uh, looks like it's something in the 70s. There are definitely lower numbers. 65. At least they're double digits. Aw, oh, man, there's a lot of cool things back there. Hey, hey there. What number do you have? 12. Shouldn't be long now. Oh, yeah. That's really good. I should talk to Kevin about you. What? Huh? I'm kind of scared of this person. I have found the person with the lowest number. Great. Okay, just play along with me here. <clears throat> can we buy your spot in line? Uh, sorry? Worry not, friend. We can compensate appropriately. Oh, yeah. We'll pay top dollar. Well, maybe not literally top dollar, but uh, I do have some half-used gift cards, and I have dozens of followers on social media. Uh, you know, they're all yours. Just name your price. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you American? Uh... Who wants to know? <gasps> Americans! Get them out of here before they steal our health care! Oh, they'll tell everyone back home! They can't leave here alive! Hey, hey, I thought Canadians were supposed to be, like, super nice! Super polite and super nice are not the same thing. Prepare to die, uh, please. Yeah. Well, that's the first time I've ever been run out of an entire country. That was pretty fun. I normally only get run out of grocery stores. I had no idea that Canada's healthcare system was so cutthroat. Also, unfortunately, we're out of options. Huh? What's that? It was in my pocket. That weird shady person gave it to me. Ooh, do you think they were a technical doctor? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Damn colors. Go where I tell you. No, that will never work on this. No, what was I thinking? Oh, hey there, Timothy. I'm Timothy 3000, Automated Office Assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. Right. Okay. Timothy, would you let your friends down if it meant you could avoid something bad happening to you? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Those creeps can tell the whole world if they want. I can't let this team down. Ah, hello there. I knew you would come eventually. Hi, my name is Pa- ah, ah, ah. No names here, and I only work with cash. You can call me Dr. I.K. My associate is Mr. F.K. Just between us, I'm the forward-thinking one here. Oh, secret code names. Okay, uh, well, call me Don Ketchup. Yeah, uh, and, uh, you can call me, uh, Pylon. Hey! All right, don't catch up in Pylon. What seems to be the problem? Right, so, can you fix this? Sacred Vertex! I haven't seen a case of Riga Borkis that bad in quite some time. Now I feel special. So it's not Rigonitis? Definitely not. And it's not non manifold topology or bow weighted verse? No, definitely Riga Borkis. Terminal Riga Borkis, I'd say. Oh no! <gasps> How terrible. Come inside and let's talk. You have come to the right place. Oh, Midge, have you seen Pylon? What? Oh, uh, no, is everything okay? The current build of the game is a disaster. I can't get any work done without crashing, and the surfer guy has a rocket launcher now. Well, uh, I'm sure he's fine. The surfer guy? I should hope so with that rocket launcher. Hey, what was that litter all about earlier? Anything juicy? No, not really. Just the uh, junk. Oh, I meant to tell you, the guy who dropped it off, the one with the umbrella, he had a message for you. Oh? Yeah, he said, tell her I hope that Mr. Snuffles is okay. Oh. I told him I'd never heard you talk about a Mr. Snuffles, but you know, even though you've only been here a few weeks, you never do really talk about your home life much. That's okay, neither do I, but in my case, it's for your own safety. Mitch? 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 What? Oh! 
Uh-huh. Yeah. Hon, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Dr. I.K.? You need tech doctor, no? Mr. F.K., who is best tech doctor? <laughs> you, my friend. See, Mr. F.K. says I am best. So, what does this involve? Don't catch him. You look in mirror. Oh no, you say, you see missing face? Such a regrettable morning. But the real problem is that you only see the problem skin deep. The core of your troubles. This is deep within you, Don Ketchup. Like my spine? Look, it's slightly reticulated, but that's never caused issues before. No! Deeper. My spleen? Your mind is holding back the recovery. You hold on to this dream of who you were yesterday, but tomorrow... You can be someone new. In your head, you hold the key to the problem. But my head is what's missing. Yes, and this is our specialty. Mr. FK can find new head. Yes, Mr. FK? You buy the ice, I bring the part and the head. I don't want a new head. I liked my old one. Oh, but this is better. You could have any head. Do you like this child man's head? Why would anyone want his head? Hey, yeah! We got the website. You pick one out online. Listen, shady doctor person. I just want my old head back, Doc. It's where my nose lives. <sighs> okay, okay, there is a way. You think he could take it? Mr. FK. Okay, okay, you're the boss. Yes, the machine is not exactly the most state-approved of machines, but if your head is around here somewhere, this will find it. How? It hits you many times. Right where head should be. Hmm? What? How does that work? Technology is a wonderful thing, my friend. If I wanted someone to hit me on the head, I would have let Viper do it. It knocks sense back at the head. Shows heads who is boss, eh? I don't think I like the sound of this. Put the machine on him, please! <laughs> Heads up! 